Hey guys, and welcome to another video. What? Make sure you subscribe, guys. Y'all love to just watch and not subscribe. We are at 1,050, I think I saw, subscribers. So thank you guys so much for all of my new subscribers. <sighs> it has been a journey building this channel out. So I really, really appreciate anyone that takes the time to just give me a little love and subscribe to my channel. And just listen to me whenever I talk on here because this is mostly sort of like a video diary in a sense. I just be talking on here <laughs> about things that are dressed, are, 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 um, are challenging me, are facing me. I just be running my mouth, child, and y'all be liking it. So I really appreciate that. Anyway, today's video I am talking about. This is like um, interesting walking in public talking. Um, today's video I'm talking about living in the big city, but also talking about this whole new thing and this new trend that is kind of, I don't know if it's a trend, but I'm talking about millennials that are flat out exhausted, living in the big city, chasing that city dream, chasing that corporate ladder dream. Talking about that and just how we're simply, quite frankly, over it. Let's get into it. So some context there. I have been living in the city, not this particular city, but just cities overall for the past six, no, 15 years, wait, 14 years of my life. So before I moved to New York City, I lived in Los Angeles for nine years. And those were like my literal, like formative years of my 20s and my lower 30s. So really just like trying to figure out who the hell I was and sort of establish me as a person, okay? Those are my years of the 20s when you just like literally just be like doing whatever the hell you want <laughs> and not really like doing things thoughtfully and not really doing things with with substance just sort of like living then you have your 30s when you're like really trying to establish yourself as an adult and figure out what your purpose is in life and now you go into your 40s, which is what I'm sort of looking at now. And when I'm doing that, I'm looking at my life right now. And I'm like, girl, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> like, why is it that I have been chasing some sort of like pipe dream? What I mean by that is, why have I just sort of gone along with this whole American idealism of, I need to be a president, I need to be a VP, I need to be a director in the corporate world. Like for the longest time I was chasing that. Was I happy? No, horrible. Because all of those jobs that I was in when I was chasing that, were filled with insecure people that did not want me to succeed. They were just out for themselves. And ultimately, they drove me to leave it all behind. And now I do influencer management at an agency and still do some social media management on the side as well. But my point is with this, is sometimes we get caught up. We get caught up in chasing something, chasing the norm. And that oftentimes ends poorly for our mental health because we're ultimately chasing something that we're not happy with or something that is not going to make us happy ultimately. But we're chasing it because we think that is what we're supposed to do. Well, something you learn in your 30s is you have to stop chasing things 
that are just the norm. You have to stop chasing things that are not truly, truly, truly what you want to do. And that's where I'm at in my life. Let me have a seat here. That's where I'm at in my life now. I have pulled back from the corporate chase. I'm living in New York City now. However, ultimately, what I would love to do is return to my roots in a sense. What I mean by that is, quite frankly, I'm tired of the grind that comes with big city living. And listen, at the end of the day, I love New York City. Love, 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 love this place. But ultimately, for me to sustain and survive, I am not meant to live here full time. So what I mean or what I'm going to do to sort of just help my mental state is really try to save money to get out of New York City. And I think a good plan for myself is to buy a house that's like outside the city, but accessible to a train that can easily get into the city. And I just like see the weight being lifted off my shoulders. Like the thing about New York City is it's a wonderful place. Like where do you get to experience so much in such a little place, right? I mean, parks, food, events, activities. But at the end of the day, that shit is exhausting. It's exhausting. And the paying of so much money here. You can get so much more for your money when you are living in the country. And, you know, commuting back into the city when you need to. So I'm just learning that and trying to figure out you know, ultimately we have to do what makes us happy. And how can I get to that, right? Well, one thing is, is I am going to be moving back home here in a little bit. Home and Mexico. So my goal is to sort of use that time to save, ooh, child, these under eye bags, to save money so I can buy the house upstate. And then I'll easily be able to commute into the city. Like I'm trying to get that commute where my house is like three to four hours from the city or train or car. Who got to learn how to drive again? <laughs> but I think this is going to set me up for a very successful 40s decade. And I mean, I'm 37 now. So they are, well, 37, 37 and a half. So my birthday's in December. So I'm setting myself up in two years to be 40 and fabulous. Because why wouldn't I want that? Why don't I deserve that? So that's what I've been thinking about lately is how can I still take advantage of New York City? but not let it take advantage of me. Key. So that's today's video. I hope everyone is having a fabulous end to the summer. I can't believe we are approaching fall, but it has been quite the summer. Um, and I'm sure it will be quite the fall. The weather here this week has been absolutely fabulous. Um, and I'm just going to enjoy a little bit of a walk before I get back to work for the day because it's absolutely stunning outside right now. As you can see behind me, it's literally like picture perfect day in New York. So I leave you with saying stop chasing that dream that isn't what you really truly love and do what you really truly love or work towards doing what you truly love. So you become and you find that happiness that you so deserve. Be well and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe guys.
Y'all love to just watch and not subscribe. Subscribe <laughs> and like this video so we get it to more brothers and help some brothers out here. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one.